Well, hello there. I'm glad you're here today. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art, and I am uh, painting a project today that I'll be using uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I'm trying to get a sample together and that I'm going to take you with me to paint this sample. I'm waiting for a cue right now from Facebook that will say that I'm live. Here it comes. It's pretty good today. This way I'll be able to see your comments. So when you come on, please say hi and um, let me know you're here. And uh, if you have any suggestions while I'm painting, please make them. Uh, I love suggestions. And we'll be, uh, I'm going to show you what we're doing now. Uh, this is, it's kind of crooked. There it is. This is a sample of a uh, logo that I'm doing for a rally. And it's going to be a bag, and it's a canvas bag. And the one that I'm doing will have two pockets, heavy canvas. And uh, this, uh, this insignia means something to the people that I'm doing it for. So, I mean something, I mean it will, they'll know what it means. That's what I'm talking about. So, anyway, what do you do it for New Year's? I'll tell you what. I want to know all about what you're doing for New Year's, and I hope when you come in you'll say hi, or uh, give me a smiley face or something. So uh, I'm going to be here today, New Year's Eve. Tomorrow we won't have a live because I'll just be celebrating the New Year. And the other thing is that um, we will be here Thursday and Friday at 3 uh, Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to get started now. Don't forget to come here and maybe I can give you some painting tips or you can give me some. Um, I am painting this bag um, with acrylics and right now I'm trying to brighten it up just a little bit. Uh, hey Rhonda, glad you're here. Christine, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. Happy New Year! So, uh, let's see. I'm going to put you in a little... I'm going to get into this little box here. Hey, look at that. Snazzy. Okay, I'm going to put you in this little box. No, I'm in the little box. And we're going to get busy here. I just thought I could probably do a little better shading here on the uh, on the sunshine. We live in the sunshine shade, the sunshine state, sunshine state, um, and it has been uh, nice and sunny except for the last couple of days. Uh, but about this bag, when it dries, hey, Lekka, nice to see you, and. Um, Hey Rhonda, good to see you. Uh, when um, when I started, uh, oh, it's going to be. This is going to be done in acrylics, and then I'll put a Scotch guard over it so that it. Um, oh, this is what my palette looks like. Oops, just plain old whatever color is in this is in this. Uh, But like I said, we are in Florida. It's supposed to be sunny, and we are in the 50s today, which is a little cool for my bones. Uh, so I had to get a, I walked outside this morning, and I said, oh, i got to go in and get a sweater. It was entirely too um, cool for me, and I'm glad I was, because we have a little bit of a wind here. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a little cooler, but I think we'll have some sunshine. If we have sunshine, it certainly does make it a lot better, doesn't it? Now, 
Um, I'm using a, let me show you what kind of brush I really like to use for this. This. Um, when you're doing things at an angle and everything, it really does help, but most of y'all already know that anyway. But when this dried, um, it still needed some cover on the paint. So this is just kind of going over what I did and making it a little bit brighter because now it will accept the paint a whole lot better. Um, during the end of the week, I'm going to show you another bag that I'm painting that you're going to love because it's definitely a Florida bag. I've done it before in classes. And I can tell you that 10 years late, well, nine years later, there's still some ladies carrying those bags around in the back of their car because I see them all the time. Oh, I know. I, I feel for you whenever you have gray days. Um, think of my, my friend Kim. She always talks about the gray days, but she loves to work in her yard. I don't know if any of y'all are friends of Kim Kempf. Uh, Kim is a sewer, and she also loves to work out in her yard. And I wish I could think of the name of the city where she is. She might come on here today and help me out with that. Uh, thank you all so much, though. I'm glad you're here. And if you're getting ready for a party tonight, let me know about it. Um, I have some funny little things to take. Uh, my granddaughter bought me a little disco ball. You know, the kind that has all the colors in it. Yeah, little colors, like colors. I should have brought it because it's so much fun. And uh, it's just a novelty thing. Uh, we're going to go to, we're at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort in Webster, Florida, where I teach fun art, not fine art. And um, we have entertainment coming in tonight. Not Billy Joel or um, Rod Stewart, but um, I don't know their names. But it doesn't matter because we're going to be with friends. I made crab cakes um, with a remoulade sauce to serve. We're just doing it for our table. And that's what they wanted us to do this time is not have um, anything but snacks at the table. So mine are going to be, I like it to do it nice on New Year's Eve, don't you? Um, no long dresses. I'm just kind of being funny now because you know we wouldn't wear long dresses here. Um, and I'm going to color this in here too. I think it'll look a lot better. I think I'll like it a lot better anyway. Let me pull this so you can see it a little better. Um, See, it really does look better if you go back over that canvas after it's had a couple of coats on it. But we're looking for, we, we won't stay over there till midnight. Are you staying up till midnight tonight? Now, if you have a dog, you got to be careful. Because I've already started hearing firecrackers. The other morning, I'm thinking it was like Monday morning, we woke up and there were people firing firecrackers out in a pasture in back of us. What was that all about? 
because um, I know that I know it wasn't the cows doing that. I knew it wasn't. Well, I didn't see anybody, but I know there were people out there, and I know when dogs. We don't have a dog, but I know if people have dogs, the dogs are going crazy when they hear that, and it scares them. So watch out for the dogs tonight. There have been dogs run away because it scares them so bad. Oh, Christine, that's awesome. I told somebody I was going to wear my, my nice jammies tonight. My New Year's Eve jammies. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect evening. But I remember, and y'all probably do too, when you used to dress up and go out and stay out late, and then there was a um, possibly a brunch at a hotel. Um, and you'd go there for, for br brunch or breakfast and fill it up again. Those were the days, and I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Aren't you? So, anyway, I think this brightens it up a lot more. Oh, let me do one. There's a couple over here that need a little bit of TLC. I had a friend call me a while ago who lives in Tennessee. And she said they're going to be down here when I do my class. And she wanted to sign up for it. So I think that was real nice. But in my classes, actually, I've got two classes this month. I usually don't do that, but we've got so many people here. And what I'm going to do is serve lunch. So something healthy with a lot of protein so they'll paint well. Okay, I think we're done with this. How about you? Now what I'm going to do, this gives me an opportunity. Hey Roz, I just want to thank you so much for such a nice comment on Facebook. Roz made a nice compliment to me and I really appreciated it. Now, I wanted to show you, and you followed my trumpet, yeah, that trumpet. I'm, um, yesterday when I left, I went out and I turned on, we have cows in, oh, <laughs> Rhonda, that is funny. That is so funny. I want to hear all about it whenever you finish your party. A Roaring Twenties party. Wow. Are you in Florida? But I went out to the pasture yesterday and there was this big black Angus bull right up against the fence. So I said, perfect. That's perfect. And I went over there and played What's Al Hurt play? Anyway, it was an Al Hurt solo. That cow loved it. He loved it. I'm not kidding. Cows love music. So if you ever have a chance, oh, that's awesome. That is awesome, Rhonda, that you're in Charleston. What a wonderful New Year's Eve that would be to spend it in Charleston. And I know you love that area. I'm going to push these brushes out of my way and get started on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my angled brush if I can. Uh, what I wanted to tell you, though, is that I always insert a plastic sheet inside just so it doesn't bleed uh, through to the other side and ruin your bag. Wouldn't ruin it. We'd just paint over it with a black Sharpie. Not really. Sometimes that, sh that doesn't work. Um, also, 
I'm going to try this angle brush and see if I like it as much. But um, Thursday, we are going to be working on a different project. Um, oh, do we get to hear you play? Yes, I'm going to try to get my husband to do the video when I play the trumpet for the cows. We're going to have a cow concert. Um, they really like it. I've told, I told I know you didn't see this before, but um, I did a Whitney Houston song for them one time, and they all crowded around me, and I was thinking they were so cute. Okay. Cows love music, If in case you're wondering. Well, maybe these are musical cows. Okay, let me see. I'm going to go in with a little bit of dark around here. I'm just going to see. This is an experiment, too. I'm going to see if I like... Mm -mm. I don't like this angle brush. I thought I would. But you know what? See, I'm a lefty. It's not cooperating for a lefty. Even if I turn it over... Oh, that's better. Okay, let me see if I like it better than I like this one. Yeah. This one was just very easy to control. Sometimes you just have... Oh, uh, no, you don't want to miss the cow concert. Vicki, I'm so glad you're here. Jane, hey, Happy New Year, Jane. Now, Jane, what is the weather like up where you are in Muncie, Indiana? We're just talking about the weather. And it's cold in Ohio, we know that. Yeah, this works a lot better for me. Now, if you like an angle one, people tell me that's a good, a good one to use uh, for this type of what we're doing. I don't have to color this a lot. Yeah, Rhonda, you, you're going to want to see that. They're so... Um, cows are so innocent. And they look at you with that great big black eye. And, and then... If you put your hand over the fence, you don't do it twice because they're real sloppy little droolers. I don't like that. Okay, we're just going to go around in this line. Kind of fill in the black. Oh, freezing rain at times. and Oh, I know John isn't happy with that. Um, everyone says hello. Uh, see, I'll just go back on this after it dries and give it a little touch up. Now, in the class, you're not going to be able to, the people that are taking the class um, may or may not be able to do it. Uh, it's a two and a half hour class. And I have the template already for them. Oh, gosh, y'all people. Okay, see, we're, I'm going to just put a little bit darker gold on this just to give it a little bit and blend it in. Does anybody have any snow today? I know it is in some parts, and we hear of people traveling. A lot of people coming back in here today. Uh back from uh, Christmas where they went home and spent time with their family and then they said never again never again uh, the traffic is too bad lots of accidents nowhere to go you just sit in the traffic so yes Toby is in the field Toby is our our horsey uh, that comes around to get apples. And yesterday, um, somebody had said, Toby is a little Welsh pony. He is He's full size, but they call him a Welsh pony. And he's learned uh, that if he comes to the fence, he gets fed. I think Jane was one of them responsible for that. 
and he just loves my husband. Uh, they talk to each other, and Toby would like the trumpet, I'm telling you. Um, but he's kind of wild and not cared for. Uh, he's the only horse in the field of about 150 cows. And so uh, when Tony, uh, Toby uh, comes over, he gives it one of these. <laughs> Sounds just like it, doesn't it, Jane? And if he says that, he's there to eat. And he'll keep doing that until you come to the fence. And then after you feed him, uh, a couple of apples, some carrots, and he gets a few peppermints for his breath. Uh, after he does that, he sleeps. He'll go and lean up against the tree and sleep for a little bit. So he's got us trained well. But um, somebody said the other day that he hasn't. Um, he, he, they hadn't seen him for a couple of weeks. They didn't know. Well, you start wondering then whether the owner has gotten rid of him or whatever because he brings a lot of joy to people in here. And they all are starting to bring things over. I mean, he gets big as a barrel when we're here and when we leave. Um, I'm sure it's noticeable to him that he doesn't have the treats. So, uh, he, start, he was gone for a while and nobody knew where he was. Well, yesterday he figured out that we were home and so he comes to the fence and does his thing and I go to the door and I tell my husband, I said, Toby's out here, he's waiting for you to feed him and uh, Toby will, um, will, he'll just patiently wait until he comes out there and then they, they have a talk and he'll sleep up against the tree and then on his way back out to the field a lot of times he stops and he takes a sand bath there there must be a place out there and there's sand flying all over the place it's really kind of funny so wish we could uh, do something for him like give him some horseshoes or get his give him a little pedicure but um And he needs brushing too. I'm not hopping over that fence, so. But that's one of the where we where we stay. It it is nice to see the um, ranchers that live close by and how they take they take very good care of their animals. Um, and the animals don't know that when they get in that truck, they're not going for a Sunday afternoon ride you know where they're going so but it's a while um, they've had a lot of births out there uh, since we've gotten home oh 60s and 60s in Raleigh wow very good Y'all are going to have a very clear uh, New Year. Have all of you done your shopping for your good luck food? Well, I did. Oh, I think I told you I was I prepared crab cakes, but I also uh, am taking some shrimp cocktail because it was a real good buy, and they look good. So I made some. Uh... Now this, this project tells me something too. If your leaves are not the same color or whatever, look how they blend together. I mean, I'm using two and three colors on these leaves. After this one, I've got to wash my brush because it's getting a little bit thick with paint in the bristles. Or the ferals of the brushes.
And I know you've probably thought about the new year. You know, what is one thing that we always, I'm going to wait to hear from you on an answer of this. What is one thing we always have on our New Year's resolution? What? Above? Usually, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm waiting to hear from y'all. There's a little bit of a lag. So when I don't say anything, you don't hear it for a couple of minutes whenever I don't say anything. But the one thing that we usually have on our resolution list is I've got to lose some weight. Is that it? Maybe. Maybe for you. Uh, maybe definitely for me. Uh, I mean, I just always start out the year saying, I'd like to lose about 10 pounds. Okay, we're going to start wrapping this up because I know you've got to go get ready for this evening. And you probably, well, Rhonda, you probably left. <laughs> Well, you're right. And if I'd pick up my feet and get out, I had a regular, um, a regular routine of going out and walking. And when it starts getting cool, it's so hard to get out. Do you walk? Do you? Yeah. Ditto, ditto, ditto. You are probably very, very wise, Lekka, to say that. Okay, now, uh, okay, See this, um, this is the wide angle brush. It's not, well, it's not an angle brush. Uh, this isn't a, like a slanted angle brush is what I'm thinking. Thank you, Jane. We appreciate that. Still not, we're still not going to go uh, be up at n midnight. We'll be hearing a lot of fireworks, so there are some younger people here that, not that I'm not young. Just go and fill some of these places up. Like a Happy New Year to you, and a Happy New Year to everyone here. Uh, what am I doing Thursday? We're going to I'm going to start on another bag, but I think you're going to like this one. It's going to be a Florida bag. I've done it before. Um, it's on the wall if I could get my... Oh, you know what? I want to wish you a Happy New Year, but I also wanted to say... Was... Right before midnight, tonight, lift your left leg. That way, you'll start off the new year on the right foot. How do you like that? So, I'd like to say how much I've appreciated um, spending the last part of this decade with y'all. It's been a pleasure to talk with you, 
or it's been a pleasure to talk with myself, but I do feel like I know you so much better. And um, we have c accomplished a lot that I did that. Try to finish the trumpet. I accomplished a lot because I wouldn't have gotten to it. And now I've got some other musical instruments I'm going to bring into play. So anyway, it's a great day to have a great day. And let's just start out the room. Don't uh, let's start practicing writing 2020 because that's going to be a hard one, isn't it? Y'all have a great uh, evening and I will see you Thursday at 3 Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye now.